Hi guys, this is a redneck air conditioner for your room. Cheap. I even built it for free. Except electricity, but nobody includes that. Um, you can use this in your room, your garage, your shed, your barn, your tree house. Anything that has electricity. And what you want to do. The materials you're going to need is a, um, these like, uh, styrofoam-ish containers. This is a I think it's an Omaha, it's an Omaha steak container. I got like so much meat in there. <laughs> got tons of steaks, but I just had it in my garage and I had this from my airbrush set up, the bucket set up. And then you need ice. You need like a knife. You don't want to use a utility knife because they don't have a big enough blade. You want to use like a um, left handed, so I mean, I'm right handed, so see, there you go. You want to use like a hunting knife or a knife that has at least a two and a half inch blade, two inch, you know. First thing, you know, let me turn this off. And you want a marker, Sharpie, crown, whatever. Soapstone, I doubt that would work. You couldn't even see it. And you can cut your legs off the stand or not. I did. And what you want to do is trace a circle. I have, it's hard to say here, but I had my my mark had my marker at like an angle in so it'd be a snug fit and after I traced it I cut it out and you want a removable lid and then what you want to do next is cut your vent holes and I cut mine just a square because this is how the outline is eventually I'll get a little piece of uh, I have some in my garage I don't feel like getting it I have to cut it up and stuff you want to get a little piece you want to get like a you know, three inch or however big your circle or square is of round, like duck, aluminum duck tubing stuff. You want to have that just come out about eight inches because what happens is the aluminum gets cold from the ice and it makes it a little, it makes the air a little bit cooler. And then you want to, you know, cover the, the crap, the, you know, the space between the, the pipe. And, uh, and the styrofoam, so no air leaks out. And it, and my, and the vent is like three, it's like four inches off the bottom, so water won't drain out when it's, it's like, so the ice doesn't drain out when it's melted. It's a little wet. I probably got, still got some time. Still got ton, some time, that ice. Probably got another 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, you get about, like, hold on, let me just, I made that fit a certain way, I don't remember how I had it, I don't know how I had it, but, yeah, and then you want to, yeah, cut your vent, I cut one in the top, and you want to keep your little piece, so you can plug it up, so I can have it shoot out the, shoot out the side, where I can have it shoot out the um, top so I just plug the top the top up I can plug that up and shoot out or I can do both both it doesn't get a maximum pressure but it works you still get a good amount of flow and yeah and then what you do is you put your ice in and you put your ice in there and then this has four speeds or four settings has high medium low and off and you can adjust it. High gets pretty loud, so I put on medium or low. I usually put on medium. And you don't want the fan really in the side because the water could get to it. And I think I was going to mention something, but I don't remember. So you have, I'll just have two vent plugs at the top hole. Um, I didn't do any, you could probably add. Um, vents all, like, vent here, vent in the back, vent there, and vent in the front, and one on top. And you can just plug all of them up, except for one. If, if you have them all plugged up, like, here, I'll show you. Quick little demonstration. Looks like it was never the, you know. If you have plugged up, and you p turn it on like this, it might shoot out your plug if you have a powerful enough. But what happens is, no air can get out of it see there's a little 
but that's shooting out the side, so that's not necessarily coming out. There's like if there there's like no air shooting out. So what it does, it shoots, hits ice, and then what happens is it bounces up and it shoots out the side. And you can actually um you, you could actually probably I don't know. I th I think you could burn out your fan or something maybe. I'm not sure. But yes. You can hear it. You hear my plug slowly coming out. And then once when I take this out, see it actually increases the horsepower. See? See how that increased? I didn't change it. So that actually increases. So you always want to have at least one open. Like, even if you just had this little one open. And so, yeah. Then you see, you'll put your ice in there, turn it on, shoot it whichever direction you want. Over there, preferably, I like. I probably could move it in the middle of my room. I'll probably get. Probably, I'm probably am right now. I'll probably put it over here somewhere and shoot it that way. Probably gonna dash you that right now. So that my room gets cooler and just doesn't go out the door. So, yeah, that's that's a redneck air conditioner set up. I, you know. I made this probably in under 10 minutes. If you have all your supplies, just draw your circle, cut it out, cut out a couple of ends, keep the plugs, clean, clean out the stuff, pop your fan in, plug your fan in. Um, and if you, um, you can actually add, um, like what Redneck I Main Tracks for Life 17 did. He actually added like a, like a thing that went up and shot out like a vent sort of. I'm gonna do that here. I'll get a little bit cooler air if I did it. If I added a piece of aluminum. You don't want to use steel or rust. It's too heavy for this application. Because it'll probably probably bend down. So yeah. I don't you know, I don't care if you guys make your own. I actually want you guys to make your own. I want you to say nice and cool. And yeah, you might see this in my other videos. It it blows cooler air. Would actually work if I I think it would work really good if I got this set up behind my twenty inch box fan and then my box fan sucked it and blew that cold air. It, but this unit alone and what you can do is actually you can get that flexible like duct stuff. It's like a tube and you can pull it out. Expi you can, like, it's sort of like a um, slinky sort of, you can pull it and it goes back, you pull it and you push it back, and you can, it has all kinds of maneuverability. If you put that on there, they come they come in like 6 foot, 10 foot, like a 6 foot piece if you're welding, you could have it over your head or something. But if I wanted to go on my desk, instead of putting this on my desk, I could just run that flexible, like silver. A silverish tubing. Put it here. Just get a little piece of tape. It gets, sh it gets shoot up or shoot out. That's also another idea. You could add. You can get that aluminum vent, and you can add vents that shoot up, and you could do zigzag. You could do like a cool zigzag, or you could probably have it come out. And you could probably make a letter actually. And then you could put holes in the letter. So that the air shot out all the different directions, like my first name's Connor, so it has C. I could probably come out, come here, and make a C and shoot out. Be pretty cool. And you could, you know, paint this. Um, paint on styrofoam. If some some styrofoams, this won't, but some of them actually will. Um, it, it, the styrofoam will just um, de like degrade, degree. I don't know. Actually, help see it's vibrating, but it would actually um, it would break down on some. You could paint it. I don't know, whatever. I just like it. And if I want to add any other holes, I can just get my knife, cut out a hole in under a minute. So yeah, it's a nice. And you can use smaller containers, by the way. He used a small little bin that was probably about 12 inches long by about six inches wide by about five inches tall and used a w really small fan it's probably that size 
but the the bigger the fan, the bigger the container, the more ice you use, the cooler it will get. The more power you have, the colder, the quicker the coldness would spread out. So yeah, that's just my. I didn't make, I didn't invent it, but that's just my little project I built. It's pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, that's about it. So see you guys later. Um, oh yeah, just a little thing. I ship my motor. I mean, I ordered my mo. I went to Harbor Freight Sunday. They didn't have it. One home order online. Today's Tuesday. Just you know, nine o'clock and I so tomorrow be Wednesday. And it's supposed to come in. Th it said Thursday. It's gonna come in either Thursday. Maybe to probably come in Thursday if not Friday. And I got some metal and stuff for my welding school, so I can make the brake and mounts and comes with a motor mount and I can you know so that's just my little delay on the unboxing and review so yeah see you guys later I recommend you build it you probably had and you can use a plastic container but the ice mounts f faster you guys probably have on these laying around you can buy them you know so and you can make it I mean, what I actually might do Let's get another one of these, put it side by side, and have a couple of those aluminum little duct pieces to connect it. And then have two fans and two vents. But you would use more ice, so. So, yeah, just see you guys later. Make whatever you want to make. Paint it, whatever you want to paint it. Cut whatever size vents you want. Um, the bigger ones usually make it, I don't know, it doesn't really make it that much of a difference. The location does so just make sure you put it in a good location so yeah see you guys later be safe